35 now um, and you were saying you're at this funny age because a lot of your friends are having babies um, mm-hmm. and then, but then your other friends are out partying, but you're not feeling like you want to do that. So wh- yeah, where do you find yourself at the moment? Uh, on the page. That sounds crazy. Like the work, work always makes me feel somewhat found and heard. So I, I actually finished writing this book. Yeah. Uh, yes. self. Um, and in the time that I finished this book, I wrote a kid's book. And last night I just started a book called uh, Watch Me. And it sounds like a book about narcissism, but it's actually a book about resilience because so many people said, you'll never make it. You're not going to do it. You're not funny enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not tall enough. You're not thin enough. You're not fat enough. Um, and I was like, well, watch me. Yeah, great. That's so good. Yeah. So I like to write. I love to write. So while and you're changing nappies, you're, you're writing. Well, I'm also using, I'm also trying to have a baby, but I'm, I'm you know, it's just, you know what it's like. Fertility's tough. Or, or did you find it easy? So, no. And I, sorry, I didn't, it's always so hard. Um, I didn't mean for you to, you don't not need to share that because it is such a fucking personal hard thing. Um, oh, it's fucked and it's so it's so like consuming and just you you know timing your ovulation and the most unsexy fucking thing is trying to make a baby yes I know and then like the doctors are like you well you know you're 35 so like and my boyfriend's only 28 so I'm like I'm sorry he wants to he's like keen as a bean but I'm just like I'm still trying to uh I tell you what, I wish I could seahorse it. I'm like, can you please have this baby? Oh, I know. Why is it all on us? You know what we were saying? If it was up, you could choose who had it, either the men or the women, there'd be no babies getting made. <laughs> because you wouldn't. None of it. Because you'd be like, no. Um, yeah, because you're seven, you've got a seven-year age gap. I love that you've got your, your younger Young man, man who you just speak so beautifully of. Does he ever give you the shits? Oh, no, always. He's so annoying. He's so young. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, of course he gives me the shit. Because he's like in a different place to me. He's like, you know, he, he has, he works in hospitality as a chef. And he's like, let's go out on a Monday, on a bender. Oh. Let's get rat shit and just like linger around the streets of Newtown. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, I'll have a, a tea and be watching oh, yeah. some true crime show. Thank you very much. Does you it know, and then we, we, work, though? Oh, he's just, like, the most kind and considerate person. I feel like if there was any sort of God, he created Tom for me. Oh. Like, he would... Yeah, honestly. He fucking makes the bed. He cleans the house. He cooks me every meal. Shut Sometimes up. he just... Like, yeah, that's why I'm so fucking fat because he keeps making me the best food, but it's like full of butter and sugar. But he just like sometimes makes food and just puts it in the um, freezer. He's an abnormality of his human being. <laughs> so I'm saying like I, I struck some weird lotto. Oh my god! Even but if yeah, you fall out of yeah, if you fall out of love with him, just stay with him. You know what I mean? Like just for the convenience of the of how good that setup is. 